Alright, what is going on everybody? Willis Gaming here. We are back with a Destiny 2 video this time. Uh, in this video I wanted to talk about Transmog coming to Destiny and I just want to talk a bit about why I'm so excited. Um, but yeah, the winner from last video's uh, silver giveaway will be on screen right now. If you'd like a chance to win some silver every single Destiny 2 video I do this month, I'm going to be giving away 2,000 silver. There won't be obviously a Destiny video every day, so if you'd like to win some, feel free to leave a like on this video, leave a comment down below, and make sure you subscribe to the channel, but it's not required. Um, the winner from last video will be on screen right now as well. But yeah, as well guys, let's try and get this video to at least 1,000 likes. That would be awesome. It literally takes like 0.1 seconds, and it would mean the will to me. So Transmog is finally coming to Destiny. I was going to cover this last night, but my internet was playing up and it was pretty much down for the whole day. Um, but I was super excited to see that Bungie are doing a full, I guess, revamp on Eververse and it's super awesome. Now I'm not going to read the entire thing, but essentially what they're doing is um, any item that you've acquired from Eververse within the lifetime of Destiny 2 will be turned into a universal ornament. Now, what does that mean? So, say you have a piece of armor like the Raid Helmet, for example, and you want to transmog. If you don't know what transmog is, it's pretty much using the appearance of something else and putting it on your main piece of gear while keeping the stats of your main piece of gear. So essentially, you can make yourself look like whatever you want while keeping your stats that you actually want which is extremely, extremely useful and amazing. It should have been there from the start of the game, but I'm glad to see that they've added it in. Now, this was an idea I've had back in Destiny 1, like three years ago. To see it actually come to the game is actually amazing, and I am super, super hyped. New and armor you've already required is being converted into universal ornaments. Universal ornaments can be attached to any newly acquired legendary armor. So they're also changing bright dust as well. So you can now get bright dust from doing bounties and by not dismantling stuff that you've basically paid silver for. So you can get bright dust from bounties. So you're actually able to access the Eververse store if you've never been able to buy stuff if you've had no silver. That's actually insane as well. I'm glad they're doing that. Um, Eververse items can now be pulled up in your collections with Glimmer slash Legendary Shards instead of Bright Dust. So that's amazing too. So what they're telling everybody to do is make sure you dismantle all of your Eververse items because they're going to stay in your collections regardless. And you're obviously going to get Bright Dust from dismantling your Eververse stuff. So dismantle all of your Eververse items right now. Get all your Bright Dust and you're going to be able to spend it on that new Eververse stuff when it does come out eventually. But yeah, Transmog in Destiny, what do you guys think of this? Like I said, I am super excited because I have a lot of cool every stuff that I've just been collecting, which I kind of don't really want to put on just because the perks are kind of not that great. But let me know in a comment down below, guys. Transmog in Destiny 2. So this is going to be coming September 17th, so... I am super, super hyped, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Just wanted to bring this quick little video telling you guys about Transmog. Definitely leave a like down below, guys. And if you're not in a Discord already and you need to form a group for like the raid, for Division, Destiny, anything at all, jump in my Discord. It's discord.gg slash Willis. We've got an awesome community and I'd love for you to be a part of it. But I'll see you guys in my next video and peace.